20 past six. The fight to prevent the closure of a hospital's accident and emergency department reaches the High Court later. Campaigners have been fighting to overturn a decision to downgrade the unit at Lewisham in South London. It's just one of many that are under threat across the country. NHS bosses have agreed to downgrade the A&E department, for example, at Cheltenham General. It is no longer open at night and a Trafford General's emergency unit could close because of concerns over low patient numbers and safety there. Let's speak to John O'Donoghue who's a consultant at Lewisham and uh, you've been a vociferous campaigner uh, against the closure there. It, we're focusing on A&E, uh, but that, you say, is the sort of shop front for the entire hospital and you think the entire hospital may be under threat? Well, I think that's very true. I mean, the A&E department of a hospital is the, the beating heart of the hospital. It's the front door. And if you don't have an A&E, you don't have the vital support services that are needed um, to, to look after... Uh, any, any patients that might come through. So not just to assess them to see whether they need admission, but I'll give you the example. If you're a parent with a sick child in the middle of the night, you bring them to A&E, you need to have them assessed to see or do they need admission. You want to have specialist services. And should the worst come to the worst, should the um, child need intensive care or anaesthetic support, you want all those backup services. Without an A&E, you would lose most of those support services. And John, Lewisham's been facing the, the threat of these changes, not through any fault of its own, really. Well, that's the injustice we're fighting. And the, the um, hospital itself is not under financial threat. It's doing a good job. It's got outcomes and, and quality measures that are um, as good, if not better, than most of London. Um, just yesterday, the friends and family test um, showed that patients using Lewisham A&E uh, were among the most satisfied yeah. in the country. Mm. Uh, we've got a first-class intensive care uh, unit. We've got mortality that's, that's uh, among the best. So, so it's, it's really, financial mismanagement elsewhere? And or, yes. Or neighbouring... That is, that is what's so, um, so, so shocking about this, is that Lewisham's financial management itself was good. We were forecasting a surplus. And yet, uh, in a neighbouring trust, uh, which was a, a merger of three um, hospitals that had deep financial problems, um, there was a, an administrator called in, and that administrator decided, yeah. um, perhaps um, very unexpectedly, uh, in the first time this process was ever used, to... Um, liquidate Lewisham yeah. and the, to divert his patients. But to, to put the other point across, I mean, Jeremy Hunt um, has sort of backtracked a bit and it's now not going to close A&E, but it could be an urgent care centre. So the scenario you suggested earlier about a child being ill in the middle of the night, that wouldn't change, would it? I mean, a, an ill child could still come to Lewisham, could it not, under an urgent care centre? Well, I think that, that compromise, that, uh, that so-called compromise that the Secretary of State um, announced is really a false concession because that example you choose, if, if I was a parent of a sick child in the middle of the night or a frail elderly relative, I want to take them to a unit that had the facilities but to assess them properly. But there are other a &E's available. That's the other point, isn't it, John? There are other a and &E's available in the um, area, but unfortunately they have um, problems with access. We've had winter bed pressures. We've had queues of ambulances outside several of the neighbouring A&Es. Mm -hmm. And the thing about Lewisham is that it's, it's a... Um, a local hospital in the heart of its community is accessible right in the middle of, of, mm. of, of, of uh, uh, Lewisham High Street with plenty of bus routes. Patients from Lewisham would have to take two or three buses to get to neighbouring A&Es. And this is a deprived population that doesn't have car ownership to the same extent as the rest of okay. the country. Okay. So I think the people in Lewisham really would be disadvantaged if the emergency services were downgraded at Lewisham Hospital. And we're really hoping that justice will be done today in the High Court. John, thanks very much indeed for talking to us. As, uh, as we alluded to at the top there, this might seem like a London story, but obviously it has knock-on effects for uh, other hospitals around the country.